Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Edith and I am the owner of Body Contouring Doll. This is part number two to a video that I previously started but that I made super long. So <laughs> I had to make it into two parts, okay? So in today's video, you will see me answering some of the questions that you guys left me on the comments. If you leave me a question, I will be trying my hardest to comment back. Now, if I cannot get to it, what I'll do is I'll just make like a, a video like this, like maybe like a monthly video like this where I can just sit and answer the questions in the comment area um and you guys can just watch these and so another thing that is included in this video is um what my space is currently looking like decor and all of that thank you so much for sticking around and if you're interested in seeing what my space is looking like and all the updates that i've made then keep on watching okay you guys so i actually went ahead and came home so I could um, replace my battery. I want to continue answering the comments. Okay, so I was giving um, well, Lope Mendez a shout out for being so amazing and for being basically a um, a woman empowering other woman. That is amazing, girl. Keep at it. Um, I love to see other women that are like this uh versus hateful and bitter and jealous okay girls ladies let's stick together what are the texas laws c ramirez said what are the texas laws regarding body sculpting will you be able to reply with the link i'm wondering if there's a requirement for square footage for my location do i need to be a cosmetic colleges etc so um as far as a specific link i cannot provide you with that um like i said earlier body sculpting is something that is not regulated just yet so there's not much um on the topic um for questions on like my initial how to start a body contouring uh business i did give you guys a link to a website that can answer a lot of your questions regarding like the legalities of certain things um to make sure that you have the proper permitting go ahead and use the same website if that did not help i would personally um go to the city um and ask them questions just to be on the safe side because yeah you're right you don't want to feel like you're maybe like missing a permit and then you end up being sued whatever you know um just so that you can be on the safe side um as far as like for square footage personally when i um based got all the permits for my current location i um it's like okay so you get like the printout of what your space looks like and then um I knew what I was going to be building in that space so I basically drew everything out and I gave them that and then at that point you just kind of wait for them to give you the okay to actually build it and and okay you can work out of the space um so I guess if it would have not been approved as far as like square footage and the amount of like things that I had in there they wouldn't have approved it that's what I'm guessing I don't know exactly how that works um that's just what i experienced personally uh now as far as having to be a cosmetologist you do not need to be a cosmetologist um you do not be need to be a licensed cosmeto uh uh what's it called sorry guys i accidentally um clicked on a message that came in um for one of my clients and uh, so let me fix this issue real fast Mom. sit right here and say say hi to the say hi to the nice people say hello hey you <laughs> okay let me let me finish filming this Mommy. video okay love you Please. okay so so I was answering, oh, as far as like a licensed cosmetologist or a licensed esthetician, you do not need none of those. Um, 
but if you plan on doing um facials and anything with the face i would recommend that you do get your license as an esthetician um because you should not <laughs> you should not be trusted with anyone's skin uh if you don't have your esthetician license because there are certain things that could happen and that if you didn't go to school for it you may not know it um you don't want to end up in those types of troubles now i say that now uh also be careful like if you think that you're very knowledgeable about the skin and you do things on skin you do facials you do stuff like that and even if you don't burn anyone or even if nothing happens any incidents like that happen um there is people out there that will report you legally honestly if you're if you want to have a loyal clientele list and if you want to provide people with the best type of services and the best um if you want to have like quality services and you want to have quality clientele i would highly suggest that you get everything in check like, so for body sculpting especially it's not regulated currently i have a feeling that that's about to change because it's being introduced so i don't know how to say it. it's just becoming so big that i feel like the state is going to see like oh shoot we are losing money so um i have a feeling that that's not gonna last very long but as of right now you, it is not regulated you do not need some type of license i would recommend to get your your license to um to practice as a real business so that you can actually have insurance in case anything happens and this could potentially mean just like someone uh let's say they trip inside of your um establishment you want to have liability insurance you want to also have the type of insurance that's going to cover um, we are touching um, a lot of body parts um, and basically seeing a lot of people um, uh, a lot of private areas you do want to have the type of insurance that's going to cover you in case someone goes and says that they want to sue you because you touched them inappropriately or you you said something that was inappropriate in the sense um, or you know you made some type of move basically you do want to make sure that you have the insurance to that's that's gonna go and fight for you um and um to make sure that no like our business our establishment is very professional and we would not do anything like that basically and i have naira saying thank you thank you girl for watching um uh coronado c said this video has so much information i love it thank you so much for watching uh la shayna say i'm probably saying that wrong said so thank you for the video thank you girl for watching and i hope you guys subscribed um jay said thank you girl for this info very informative well wishes thank you girl you too i hope that everyone's business is successful um and so dom's life said hi how many times a week can you get butt vacuum so with vacuum therapy you can do you could literally do it every single day if you wanted to really go your butt that much um but i would suggest like two to three times a week well actually like it could be weekly it could be like a one time a week type of thing but if you want to come in more than one time i would say like two to three times and the reason why is because you are going to experience that soreness almost like when you work out so uh, with that said, you may not even want to do the third time a week because you're going to be pretty sore. Bebe, you're distracting the people watching. Um, C. Ramirez, Ramirez um, said, I noticed the girl who is offering training where I live. She includes that all in one machine and the cheaper bed. I also noticed her training started out at 2000 just two months ago and it was 2500 uh, and now her training is 2700 what is your opinion about that should i seek training elsewhere and this is one of the the uh, comments that i saw my girl guadalupe mendez <laughs> i'm just kidding i don't know who she is but um i'm i'm seeing that she's she's you know giving you that information and she commented you got to do your re your best research and look at a trainer that best fulfills your interests plus all depends on how much are you willing to invest to be honest you can only get certification then you do purchase 
um, your own machines by networking with vendors that's how you start your own business connections none of the trainers would give you all information for free that's how it is only a few educated trainers that are LVNs will dedicate it enough time for you to learn and freely give you vendor connections there's others that can charge you for information for charge you for information networking good luck and she is um, I really like her response to this comment because it is true um, it really just depends on your needs um, I want you ladies to do the proper research as far as like <sighs> Just because someone is charging a lot for training doesn't necessarily mean that it's good training. Um, just make sure that... So, my training and my pricing for my training, I am charging for my time. I'm charging to make sure I make the money back for the items that I include in my training. And I am charging for teaching my technique, okay? My training is not a basic course where you basically just learn um, how to use your cavitation uh, probe. I'm not, no. I give away my techniques that's why my training is the amount that it is um, that's what I feel that my technique is worth um, because it does give people results um, but I've been noticing lately that even even the basic training that people are providing they're increasing their prices and I have a feeling that it's because they see other people's trainings being a little more and I understand that but if you're not giving the value and you're just giving the basic information then I don't see why it should be that much but that is where where the doing your research comes in hand you know you want to find out maybe reach out to someone they have trained in the past because a lot of times um, what what will happen is like they'll have a training and then they'll tag those people that were in the training i would say even reach out to them and be like hey how did you feel that about this training course blah blah, blah. and uh and yeah do as much research as as possible to make sure that you are because a lot of times like um you want to invest a good amount of money but at the same time you don't want to feel like you're uh spending too much money for something that you could have literally learned on youtube uh so let's see and by the way so my training i do include uh i do include vendor lists i do include uh where to go what websites to go for certain supplies um things like that but uh guadalupe on this response is actually correct a lot of people won't will not give you their vendors um a lot of people will not give you their connections and uh it's not that it's not that people are out here being shady or like um just not wanting to help you out even though you're paying it from training it's just that um a lot of times these connections come with a lot of um I don't want to say breached. They come with a lot of money spending. Like with a lot of vendors, you really don't know what they have until you actually test those products. And through all like the time that that we're out here spending, um, testing everything, and uh, and and spending all of this money on bunch of items um just to test them and just to see if we could find a perfect vendor um all of that is worth something um all of that time that i'm spending away from my family all of that time i'm spending just period and all of the money that we're spending you know if you think about it it's not fair if i spend all of this time effort and money uh finding my own vendors and then um you expect to just uh, contact me and ask me oh what vendor did you use for that or you know, it's not like I really doubt that's that anyone ever is going to give that for free <laughs> you have to do your own work and if you're not willing to put in the work then another thing that I have done in the past is hey um, will you be willing to sell me your vendor list and then at that point then of course like you, you spend the money so that you don't have to spend the time doing all of the research and all of that. My, what, mm. that way ended. Yeah baby so cute but let me finish this video okay? I really like her response on this and I will say I can't say that her training is expensive and I can 
I can't say that that uh that it's cheap um because i don't know who it is and i don't know if she's actually gonna be providing you with with the value that that you need or or that you're looking for um and another thing is just be careful you do not want to basically um pay a lot for a training for someone that or or you don't want to pay period for someone that literally just got trained last month and they're they're already becoming instructors because that just tells you that they're just wanting to make fast money um and in reality there's no way i really really highly doubt highly doubt that that within one month of experience that you're gonna be able to ask all of these questions and that you're actually gonna get a real response okay so uh natalie uh rowe rowe i don't know how to i'm terrible at pronouncing things okay <laughs> is the hispanic in me um does online training works or i have to do a hands-on training um now i will say that i do get a lot of requests regarding like virtual training and uh in online training and i personally i always highly encourage my people to just travel i know it's an extra expense but <sighs> you I just want to highly encourage you even if you're you're gonna do it with me or you're gonna do it with someone else with a different instructor I highly encourage you to get that hands-on training um, for example if I was to do a virtual training yeah I could show you my what my technique is but a lot of times like with my trainees what happens is um, I want to be able to hold their hand and uh, so I can better explain and so that they can kind of feel what my hand is doing like the movements that my hand is doing when I'm doing certain things so I will highly encourage you to, um, to travel uh, or to find someone else that is near you um, to, so that you can get the hands on that i actually i i feel i am so so happy thank you so much for all the ladies that have been reaching out to me um to travel to me i have been getting a lot of people traveling um to houston to take my training course um so thank you so much for that ladies i have a goal to be able to travel with training and to be able to bring traveling to y'all or to cities near y'all so i am feeling super super blessed at the fact that um i have been getting reached out by people all over the world because this just means that i'm getting closer to be able to come to y'all basically a lot of the people that have reached out to me from other states um, um, have traveled this way because I have highly encouraged them to come out so that they can get the hands on so um, so I would encourage you to do the same thing I mean if you're gonna pay for the course you might as well get your hands on girl as I just started mines in April I'm from Houston and got trained in LA my instructor was the worst because now that I need help she's left me on hang it's been stressful for me these videos have helped me so much may god bless you so much for helping us for free oh this comment just made my day that is that is so amazing thank you so much for watching and and i really hope that i get to inspire you and motivate you and that we all um become successful business owners and uh, six figure or seven figure business owners right um thank you so much for watching i hope that you subscribed so I see questions about what's the best you use, the better use for your class. I will be linking that uh, below today because um, I'm guessing she is asking about the the white the white bed that I actually have in my spa versus like the the bed that I give out during my trainings. So um, I will link that uh, ergonomic bed down below so you can check the description box on this video. Um, Okay, so hey love, uh, the Syria Johnson put uh, hey love. When's your next class? I would love to come from Georgia and take a class. Uh, so my I have monthly classes, um, so you can you can travel this way. Um, it, like I said earlier, you can go to bodycontouringdoll.com. And my camera just rudely decided to stop filming so here we are again so um you can go to bodycontouringdoll.com to check out um our class date uh let's see and you can sign up online as well uh, i went to a training class rosa yane said i went to a training class and we only trained for one day so i don't feel like i learned anything unfortunately a lot of times this is the case 
and uh, this is why I highly encourage people to not depend so much on one training I took seven training courses um, this includes online courses this includes institute courses this includes hands-on courses by like just like simple business owners like myself uh, and I highly encourage you to do the same as you start to make money you want to invest this money back into your knowledge yeah you want to invest in better equipment and supplies and stuff like that but don't just go and spend your money on a Louis Vuitton purse or <laughs> or a new car. Um, of course, if, if you need the car, you know, if it's, a, if it's essential, then of course, go for it. But if you can just, instead of like spending that money, if you can, then, then go ahead and, and just invest the money in making sure that your services are of... Uh, amazing quality to the point that your your clients can't go and replace you um, if they find someone cheaper or if they find someone closer to them um, you want to make sure that your services are worth the drive that your clients are gonna make or that they're worth the money that the, your clients are paying Carmel uh, she commented can you do a video on how to pay employees and how much any contract that should sign please give us insight on how to become a trainer it's just getting the necessary paper paperwork and teaching them hands-on so um i already answered this question um earlier i will make a video on like ideas on how to pay your employees because i know that body sculpting is something that is new and um and um there's not much guidance on how you should pay them so i will be making a video on that um right now that i'm very inspired to make videos uh um Stay, stay tuned girls because i am um gonna be dropping a lot of good content soon okay so erica said hello i took an in-person class that cost 2800 it only included the machine wow people are out here making money i think i need to charge more for my training <laughs> um the class was only four hours long oh my god people really are out here making good money um <laughs> that was like my general reaction honestly i wish i would have gone to a different class because it did not come with no help on how to start an actual business what i need or how to start i wanted to work from home and Oh my god, I want to work from home and when I asked my instructor what I should do and what I need to work from home, her response was, I don't know, I have my own office to work from, so I don't know what you need. I got discouraged and I took my class in March. I still haven't really started because I don't know what the first step is and what I need to work from home, so can you please help me? Okay so i just had to tell her right now that um to watch this video so that she can come in and hear what i have to say so one thing that i will say is wow you paid a lot of money for what seems like not very much information or help or mentorship um now if you do not have the money to go and pay for another course that will probably help you a little more I will say do tons of research whatever state you're in whatever city you're in pick up the phone call or actually no drive over there drive to the courthouse drive to where you uh, basically get your permitting um, ask them directly a lot of times what happens is they can't answer your question but I, the least they can do is send you to someone that can um, if if this person that was supposed to be your mentor is not willing to help you that's okay and don't feel sad about it don't feel bad about it don't wish them bad um, think of this person that basically took your money and ran as a gift from God because from this step that happened you are going to take other steps that will lead you to be successful don't sit around and be bitter about it don't sit around and victimize yourself about the fact that she took all your money and ran. Um, what I want you to do is look at this as a good thing. Okay, so from this person that didn't help you, um, what you're going to learn is you're going to learn to do your research. You're going to learn to network 
to find out the information that you need um, and you're gonna uh, basically learn to have the to have the drive to make your business work for you right so if she did include the machine wait does she say that it includes a machine let me see okay so it did include the machine okay so if it included the machine like the cavitation machine what i want you to do is i want you to start uh practicing if you feel like you still don't know what you're doing then i want you to go ahead and have hands-on even if you're not charging let's say your family or your co-workers or your fam uh friends practice on them okay because it's gonna be free so they're not gonna be mad if you leave one side bigger than the other or <laughs> or if let's say she gave you a, a bad quality type of machine they're not gonna be mad if they don't get results okay so i'm gonna want you to practice 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 if it if you do start getting those before and afters then i want you to start posting that i want you to start making money from that so that you can make the money that you lost you can make it back and then you can further invest and take a different course um this bad experience is gonna teach you and it's gonna uh, basically push you to grow um so that's that's what i have to say um if you're gonna be working from home uh you do not need to get any permitting or things like that just like i said you want to make sure that you do have your your legit um your your license all of that go to legal zoom if you have no idea how to do the legal stuff or how to go and request permitting from your city, go to LegalZoom, LegalZoom.com, and they will help you. Um, just so that you can make sure that you have liability insurance because even though you're working from home, um, if someone falls, if someone like, I don't know, um, you have a dog and maybe the dog bites your clients, uh, they're gonna sue you and you're gonna be liable for that. So. <laughs> things like that you want to make sure that you have insurance for um even if you're just uh working from home right um and the good thing about working from home is that uh if you're renting for example like let's say you pay 1600 in rent then those 1600 per month are going to be a deductible at the end of the year what was the link for the chairs you have in your suite i couldn't find the link so i'm not sure if she's referring to like the the seats that i have like when you first come in or like my beds my ergonomic beds that i use at my spa so i will link both of those below oh i got a lot of questions about why my voice was high pitched in the video in some of the video where i was like in, in line at starbucks and the reason why is because uh like i was telling you guys earlier i don't i was basically filtering a lot of what i was saying um afraid of uh boring you to death um i will no longer be doing that the reason why it was high pitched is because i um i kind of like uh sped through i was like speeding through what i was saying just because i didn't feel like it was very uh informative um so i didn't want you guys to kind of um spend your time watching that um but don't worry girl i won't be doing that anymore if you're gonna if you're bored with what i'm saying and you just keep skip forward Oh, okay nurse Gigi thank you so so much for all of the advice on how to decorate my space I actually feel like I followed a lot of that advice um, I actually didn't see this comment until yesterday when I responded to it but it is so so cool that we I guess we have like the same um, aesthetic kind of because exactly what you what she said is it's almost exactly what I did so I will be showing y'all guys what it's looking like right now because i i love it i'm falling in love with my space and thank you so much for your tips thank you so much for taking the time to uh leave a comment with uh your recommendations as far as decoration because i don't know it just warms my heart and it um it motivates me to continue to post these videos for you guys so someone asked me how i felt about uh camellia school um i think that's how you say it or camille i don't know so i personally have not gone to this is it an institute or just a school i'm guessing so an academy there i haven't gone to this academy personally i did have a trainee however that told me she got her training from her and that she actually quote unquote she felt so stupid after the course she said that 
oh, to me i hate saying the word stupid i feel like it sounds so harsh but that's what she said that she felt stupid um and the reason why is that she felt very uh, discouraged and she felt very confused and she felt like the course was uh, rushed and that she didn't get the opportunity to ask questions as much as she wanted to and that the, court, the, the class didn't last very long because the instructor uh, had something to do. Uh, so she was kind of like trying to rush through it and so she could go do whatever errand she needed to run. And... Uh, now i i that's just what i have heard i guess um and from them um i follow them um and like the instructor like on on the instagram seems very welcoming and and she seems very sweet so i can't i can't say anything bad because i honestly have not been there but i can't say that they're amazing because i've never been there again um now like as far as what my trainee had to say about them maybe you just never know maybe she had a bad day um a bad day where like she was having an off day i don't know and now i'm not excusing that to to say that like it's okay to not train well it's really not because whenever i do have my training courses i make sure that my son is taken care of i make sure that i have someone to feed him all day i make sure that just not that i'm not gonna have any distractions whatsoever the entire time that i'm um putting aside to train you guys because you guys are are paying for a course so i want to give you exactly what you're paying for um and especially without feeling rushed so um so yeah i'm not sure i can't say that that they're bad uh but that's like the only thing that i had to say about that that i'm not gonna allow like some Aaron to to make me feel to make me rush your training uh, but then again everyone has their own personality and everyone is different and um, and yeah so um, I think that was the last thing that I was going to answer on here because most of the other comments um, were pretty easy easy for me to respond to so um another thing is um last time i made a very brief video on on how to start your own body sculpting business and i told you guys to basically start out with a cavitation machine to so start out with that cavitation machine so that you wouldn't go out and spend too much money starting out because like i said earlier i don't want you to feel <clears throat> i don't want you to feel like you need to have the perfect perfect place to start with um for a very long time for a full year i wanted to start making these types of youtube videos and i wasn't doing it because i felt like i needed to have a different background like i needed to to have a different camera or like me per like my body i wanted to look different when i came on these videos so i wouldn't feel uncomfortable and the reality of it is i wish i would have started a year ago versus now um i wish i would have captured everything that happened when i was trying to have my space ready i wish i would have done all these things i wish i would have recorded my space in when i worked from home so that you guys would get to see it i wish that you guys had seen that growth so because of that reason please do not feel obligated to be perfect when you start to start girl um things will come at a pace that how god wants it to come honestly um so if you're thinking of starting um like i said that's the that's those are the items that i would recommend those are the essential essential items that um i would recommend you start with so that you don't feel overwhelmed and so that you don't spend all of this money because i will be honest with you if you're gonna buy every single thing you're gonna spend around ten thousand dollars do you have ten thousand dollars sitting in your bank account and if if you answered yes if you have those ten thousand dollars sitting in your bank account just to spend like just like this no right a lot of times we may have savings but those savings are for in case like you know you know how many people lost their jobs during this you know everything that happened around the world we have savings just in case so of course you don't want to just fully yes you want to invest but you don't want to put yourself in a position where it's gonna you know um have make you lose your home whatever 
So with that being said, if you invest the $1,000 or 2000 the $2,000 or 3000 that money is going to come back to you fairly quickly. And it's also going to give you the time to really, really master your techniques and really master giving your clients the best quality service. And then you start adding on. And then at that point, you already have a clientele. And so they're excited to see you add on more services so that they can keep coming back to you for other things. So it makes it so much easier to sell in that way versus let's say you get everything. You spent $10,000 getting everything and now you have it all. And then now guess what? You're looking for clients. And a lot of times, like sometimes when you get a new client, they look at all your services and then they feel overwhelmed about the fact that you have all of these services and they don't know what to book. So then now what happens is I'm going to click off of those website and you know what? I'll worry about it later. And then they just forget about it and then they'll never book. So go ahead and do it. Um, I will be making a video on like uh, once you start, what else do you need? What else should I buy? What type of booty machine should I get? I get a lot of questions about that. I actually been thinking about doing a, a online store where you can purchase all of the items that I have in my spa um, or machines that I have tried in the past that I may not necessarily have in my spa, but that I have tested and that I feel like work pretty well. Um, so because I want you guys to, I know that you guys trust me um in the aspect that you guys know i'm genuine gen, gen genuine i think i feel like i'm pronouncing that wrong for some reason genuine like i'm truthful and how i feel about certain things what i what i my opinions and certain things so because of that reason i can tell you like for example uh like this butt machine here freaking sucks <laughs> <laughs> so things like that um, keep you from wasting money um, and actually get supplies that actually work well for you okay so with that being said I will go ahead and actually drive to my space um, I have my techni technicians actually there right now working on clients um, so I will show y'all what my space is current looking like and uh, yeah so we'll go ahead and do that and I'll see you guys there. Wait. Hello. Hi. I'm here for my appointment. <laughs> what did you say? So if you're gonna put me on that video, let her remove my sandwich. <laughs> Too loud? Then. Okay, ladies, so this is what the space is looking like. I'm missing three of the portraits up there, but since it's very high, we're gonna have to bring a higher ladder to get up there. So this is the wall that someone was asking about earlier. It is basically a like a square, not a square, a rectangle about that size like that. And so there's around like $500 worth of squares here in this wall. Hello. Employee, employee number two, employee of the month, and then employee number two. Of the year. <laughs> That's actually my husband, by the way. I got this. Um, what is this called? Oh, I got this LED sign made at a place here that's uh, local in Houston. I went with someone that was local just because. Um, I like to support local businesses, but I will say that it was the same price. It was the same price as if I would have like ordered it online. So with the trouble, I had to go get it because it's all the way in Tomball, which is like an hour away from here. Um, you might as well just go ahead and order it online. This is about this is about four. Three to four, no, it's actually four feet. It was $500 on the on this type of sign, 
which is actually normal pricing that's usually how much they'll be even if you order it online um, but at least online you'll get it shipped to your house one thing that I don't like about this and I didn't know that it was gonna be like this is that usually the ones that they sell online they're like cut out to the shape of the word and this one is not which means it's, it has that glare do you guys see that so whenever like someone tries to take a picture there's that glare and it just doesn't it doesn't look as nice but it's there so we're just gonna deal with it so um this ottoman my little ottoman there i think it was like around 40 dollars i will link that below uh, 40 dollars on amazon as well the chair was around $300 plus another $300 here, Amazon as well. This car was a little over $100. Um, I'm still missing like some decor pieces. I want to get like a Chanel book just because it's like usually like I feel like the black will contrast pretty well on this type of gold color. And that butterfly, I actually got it from Home Goods. And I thought it was so cute because um, butterflies have a really special meaning um, when it comes to like the law of attraction and all of that. Uh, so um, I don't know if this is stain, but this is just here because I had it at home. And this is just a jar that we have because we're actually going to do a giveaway for those items back there. Um, I've talked about that in like the one of the last videos. And I got my little girl power uh, statue from Target. This desk, I will link below where I got it because I'm going to be honest. I did a lot of research and the place where I got this um, was literally the cheapest. And by cheapest, it, it wasn't cheap. It just means like it had a lower price versus the other websites. And then I got that bench there to match this. Um, not that it came as a set, but it just matched, so I just got it. And I got this little card holder, business card holder from Amazon as well. I will link that below. And what else? Oh, so this wall, um, this wall, along with like the three that are supposed to go up there, was seven hundred dollars, um, around eight, almost eight hundred, along with taxes. Um. And so that's why I kind of sat on it for a while because that's a that's expensive for some pictures, right? But if you think about it, the time that they spent basically designing the wall for you, it's it's worth it. And it looks really really nice. So um, it was definitely worth it. And it is a business write-off. So. Um, if you like something for your business don't think about it too much just know that, that it's gonna be worth the fact that people want to take pictures here in this area um, and they're gonna be able to tag you on Instagram so that means that you get those that exposure so it's definitely worth it it's a business write-off and so here I have this open sign that I also got from Amazon I think it was like $30 and it's really cute it just has like the same LED as kind of like this and then it kind of changes like the way that it like shines a little bit um behind the desk i have this really cute shelf um i really liked how it looks because let me come around i like how it has like a little storage area there so i put all of the extra like lipo creams and detox teas down there um out of the way I still need to organize like everything back here and I really need to organize this desk like period it's just looking terrible so I need to organize that she's helping me right now filing all of the client paperwork yes baby you got new ones mm -hmm. oh that's so good and so um, this thing um, I got it on Amazon it was about like $30 um, if you're gonna spend that money, you might as well get the one that's $100 because this one actually really sucks. I use it just as a stand, like if I'm ever recording a video, but other than that, like this light really doesn't do anything. Um, these baggies, I got them from Amazon as well because I couldn't find any like this at the dollar store. Um, and this chair, I got it on Amazon. I know, I got everything on Amazon. Look, I trust Amazon, so whatever I can find there, I'm just gonna buy it there. Um, uh, I think it was like 160 
but I needed it because it matches the rest of the other chairs. And actually, I really love this ottoman, so I think I'm gonna get two more for the other rooms. Actually, three more. And what else am I missing? This sign is just up here just because I didn't know where to put it, but um, I'm probably gonna put, I'm trying to see if I could get um, my old art teacher to make a statue of the body contouring doll logo. Um, so we can put that up there. I think that'd be so cute. Here, I'm still missing something. I, I kind of want to put like a menu list, like a price list thing that looks really cute. Still been like looking on Pinterest for inspiration as to what I want here. Because I don't want it to like contrast poorly against that wall and look like there's too much going on in here. Um, that bowl down there, I'm just going to return it because it's a little too much contrasting against like the mirror and stuff down there um, but I plan on putting healthy snacks for like just for the girls to take for free if they're starving after their session um, this little filing cabinet not cabinet but storage box is actually pretty handy if you don't want to have a full-on um, file storage in your space uh, because filing cabinets tend to be really bulky and ugly so this is really really cool if you want to still file the client's paperwork you can just buy this and find you know find a place to put it instead of a big old cabinet so um, I got this at Target and it was like 20 or 30 dollars but it was so worth it I would try to find it online and see if I can link it for y'all um, I got these really, really cute, um, what are they called? Oh, clipboards um, on Amazon as well. I will link that. I I lost these for a while when we moved. And so I went and got like these just um, normal ones from Office Depot, I think. Um, but then we found them again. I just think they go really well. They look kind of fancy. Um, we always keep lotion we always keep like well i keep like solution like contact solution so i can have through the day some mask and my employee has a big old booty and she says she doesn't have a big booty i'm like girl you know how many girls want that but <laughs> and we keep a little um mini fridge here because this is where we <laughs> She literally just says she's gonna charge me for advertising her butt. <laughs> so this um, this fridge, I like to have it here. So because we sell this this tea, we named it the. Let me see. Can it focus? This camera has terrible focus. Honestly, where focus? Oh my god! Let me see. Let me see if I can focus it like this. There it goes. Okay, so we named it the Goddess Kitty Tea. So basically what it does is, um, let me read it out loud, okay? So an all natural and organic blend of herbs and fruits that make your most intimate part taste and smell sweet. This delicious tea reduces dryness, PMS, improves experience. This herbal blend is confidential. So basically, uh, it just helps you enjoy the sexual experience a lot more. A lot of our clients get it because it, it truly does help with cramping and bloating. So they like to have this um, on hand for whenever they get their period every month. And um, some people just pick it up for like the sexual enhancement in it because it does make the sexual experience a lot better. And uh, everybody wants to taste and smell sweet down there. So why not? So what else? Um, we keep this here for music. I really want to get a better one because our neighbors, which is oh, the barber shop. That's cute, baby. They um they play really like loud music, so we need to compete with them and play louder music. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so I showed everything there, right? Um, the sticker the sticker out there on the wall, I mean on the window. Um. I got it done here locally. Um, you can find someone in your city that does that. 
so basically what it does is it keeps people from being able to look inside but you can look outside so it's pretty cool um oh by the way this shelf was like 250 dollars but it's so worth it look, <laughs> right but it's so worth it because look how cute it looks you know and it was the right um what do you say width that I needed because I have such a small space here. Um, so it works perfectly. Let's see. So this is what the space looks like right now. I don't wanna do a tour in this video because I feel like I've already done a, a super long video. Um, I will link this one below though because I keep getting questions about it. So this is basically a more ergonomic uh, a more ergonomic uh, table versus like uh, the plain one that you usually get with trainings um, but honestly if you don't need the ergonomic thing then just keep the simple one because the simple one is so much more easy to clean versus this that's like you know it's just harder and it just takes you much longer okay guys so this area here I have not put anything yet because the wall was made so thinly and there's no way to really hang anything because like one of the one of my subscribers had commented that like it would look so cute with like diamond uh, mirrors and I was like oh my gosh I love that idea but um, they won't be able to be hung because they're gonna eventually like fall off or like for example if like my neighbors uh, hit the wall they're gonna come off real fast and I'm afraid that they're gonna fall on one of my clients that's like my really big fear so I, I was thinking instead since I can't hang anything yay um, since I can't hang anything, I was thinking of, have you seen those walls? Have you guys seen, the, seen those walls where like, they basically, it's almost like they grab a flower like that, right? And like different types of flowers and they'll basically like hang it like upside down or like going upwards. They just literally hang them using, uh, what's that thing, uh, tape and it was like i saw that and as much as i didn't want to have to use tape it looks like that would be the best thing that would work for this wall because i mean if you really think about it no one no one is really touching this wall um so it's not like they're gonna slightly like rub off the tape you know um so i think that's what i'm gonna have to do so that it doesn't look so plain because when you look it, it even looks scary in there like right now <laughs> and i feel like if we um I didn't want to do that to that this wall because we already have so much flowers here so many flowers but um, I think that if we do that there it's gonna give it like a moment you know where you kind of want to like record going through the hallway I don't know I just want it to look really cute and it just seems like the best option for us um let me continue to show you we we're having trouble finishing our space because of all the lack of supplies at the store we're going through and is it called an outage not an outage uh i just forgot the word uh at like home depot and stuff so i can't get the supplies in um and i'm gonna show you what i mean by that um we started out so like this wall here is like almost like a temporary wall that's why that has to be there for support and in between the rooms i decided that i wanted to use almost like a curtain type of separator be instead of using a a wall because i wanted to be able to open it what oh good job baby um because i wanted to be able to open it if like you know if you came with your friends i wanted you to feel comfortable being together um but now that i think about it i feel like it's, it's just gonna look so much better if it's a real wall and a lot of times like the ladies don't mind being separated because um 
you know they can still hear each other if they want to talk to each other and at the same time if we make it into a wall we can use the space to put um advertisements about that and that or like to put something motivational or in, and um and to put like something uh educational on health you know things like that so um that's why i decided that i'm gonna make it a wall into a wall instead but we cannot find the supplies here in houston to finish another thing is we haven't finished the third room and i've been trying to go away from using that room because it's not finished it's not covered like the other two rooms they're covered by a curtain um which which by the way i'm gonna find i'm gonna try to find a better way to cover those rooms like maybe with better curtains because i don't like the way that it looks um but let me show you what i mean So here, I so since I could actually hang something here um, because this wall is a lot more structural. I'm gonna um, hang a mirror, like a long mirror, and then I'm gonna try to put like a selfie, some some type of a cute little like LED light to where it becomes almost like a little selfie area. Um, this area. Um, so here's my restroom, right? This is my restroom, and then. Um, here is like my little back area we have like the vibration plate um, vibration therapy this thing the teeth whitening we have some stuff over here this is our sauna I'm gonna wait go away from using this type of sauna because as you can tell I don't have the space for it and I don't like the way that it looks back here that's also why I don't advertise it as much on my social media because I I hate having to pull it into the room it's so big so now we're gonna go into using just sauna blankets I'm gonna try to find a better way to cover these because um, in the state of Texas when you have a beauty salon you're not supposed to um, have these exposed you have to have a cabinet that covers everything now for us body sculpting businesses it's not required but I still don't like the way that it looks I feel like it looks so unprofessional and actually here are the pictures that we are um, having to still hang here is something that I wanted to hang as well but we're not gonna be able to because um, the wall is so weak and I got this chalk board at a at, at home because for the days that we want to do walk-ins i want to be able to display that outside and i'm gonna move this um i want to find a better place for this because i feel like it's almost hidden and um i don't know let me know what you think i'm gonna show you my space so this is our back room So this is our back room in here i have this this cool sculpting machine and honestly i hate it so much don't get me wrong it does work but this thing was like almost five thousand dollars and it's so bulky i don't have the space for it so if you want to buy it off of me girl um i'm not gonna sell it to you for five thousand dollars i will sell it to you at a discounted price it works so perfect but um i just don't have the space for it yet and um and so if you want to come get a girl just let me know i will sell it to you it works so perfect this um these pads these cool sculpting pads actually work better than the than the pad than the thing that like is a cool sculpting thing but it kind of sucks um so if you want it come come and get a girl because um i just don't have the space for it so here's like the sink that i'm legally required to have i used to have a thing for the towels but it, it broke so then now, now we just take them in bags when we go home i need to find a better plate and like um another one to put them in and this is how we kind of keep our stuff over here and i like this little shelf because everything is exposed and that way i know what to order when i need to order it um and some cleaning supplies down there but you see how small our place is i did not i was happy to rent this space out and a month into it i realized that we need more space than this um, which is a blessing but we're struggling with space um so this is what i mean by this room is not finished this room needs to be covered and there's times when oh and this room does not have a mirror either and it doesn't have much lighting so um 
I don't like my technicians using it because of that reason we really need to fix it because I don't want my clients to feel like oh they put me in the back room where like it looks like you know they just store things usually um, these are not here these are new shipments I got in and I need to fix them um, but they're there for now um, this is what it's looking like Yes, baby. Huh? Good job, baby. Hey, hey. Hi. And this is You're one of my me. clients. Yes. <laughs> she's she's always here since I work from home. Yep. Like once a Do week. I know. Oh, they're cute. Yeah, that's so cute. <laughs> and here is my um, technician. Uh, employee number two. <laughs> Why can't I be number one? <laughs> so here is their room. But but yeah. So um, I do want to do a full tour. But I feel like I've already made this video long enough. Now let me know what you think about the the style of this video just kind of following me along um this way i don't feel too pressured to uh be so proper in these videos i can just be myself and show you like my behind the scenes and uh, and yeah so i will be doing a tour video of my space i really really want it to be finished um so i really hope that those supplies come in so that um the guys can come in and finish those walls for me um but yeah uh, let me know also what you think about my space and so any suggestions you have i am open to it any suggestions you may have i am open to hearing them um because i feel like we're all in this together um i i i want to be able to provide uh value to your life so if you guys want to provide value into my life um you know we can just all be there for each other okay guys so this is the end of the video thank you so so much if you stuck around to watch the whole thing i know this was a lengthy video but i feel like it had to be made this long um and stay tuned for uh future videos uh, that will be a little more educational versus just kind of telling you what's been up with me um and uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, leave me a comment down below of what you want to see. I am excited to continue filming like this and uh, I hope to see you guys soon on the next video. Bye!